enjoyable, fun, challenging, disappointing, hectic, tiring, crazy, stressful, yet exciting. These are words that students have chosen to describe university life for them. Students are people, youths even, some adults in many cases, who have decided to join the higher echelons of education and in the process have still seen their age class vilified by the media, the wider public at large, and in some cases even their peers. And in all fairness, is this really a true thing to behold? Do we really see the true picture from what we read in the papers, what we hear on our radios, what we see on our televisions? Is there something more to learn? Hopefully, and by God, surely, we can find something. This, ladies and gentlemen, is student understanding. I find that the workload's pretty easy because I don't, I'm not like I'm having to answer tests every other week. I'm not having to submit a portfolio every month, every end of the month. I've got the essays, you know, at the end of the term, and I've got a piece to build up over term. It's more about doing coursework, which I find suits me for my degree a lot better because mine I end up having to do a lot of writing, so I find it's easier to develop it over time, work on these skills, so that way I can show it at the end instead of having to just, you know, build it up almost by trial and error. I'd find that would be too stressful and it wouldn't really help my degree. I like to have that little extra bit of challenge. It's it keeps me busy, but it doesn't it doesn't keep me overly distracted. It isn't always go, go, go. It isn't always you've got to just mount this giant mountain of work and this you it's pretty easy actually. Cons all things considered. It's not it's keeping it manageable, I think is the best. It's sort of as difficult as you want it to be. I mean if you put a lot of work in and you really put effort into it then you'll do really well but someone might say it's easy and they'll do really badly. I obviously put a lot of work in. I know yes it's, it's as hard as you make it really. I absolutely love my friends group. They accept me for who I am, they're so much fun and also very hard working and reliable but I have bumped into a lot of um, idiots. I don't like those sort of people, no. I think you're wasting, especially now that the, the fees are so high, there's no point going on getting wasted as they, I see some people getting, because some of them are here for the nightlife rather than the actual degree itself, so I think that's dumb. They're, stupid for doing such things because how can you concentrate the next day in lecture or whatever you're doing when you're hungover because these people use every single night they can to go out and I just don't see how they can therefore concentrate onto their work. Well I mean, the main group of friends I hang around with they're sort of they're sort of the perfect friends really. I mean, you go to university, so you're a really, really quiet person who struggles to make friends. If you go to university, there's going to be at least 10 other people like you. The same as if you're super popular, there's going to be 10, 20 people like you. So there's sort of, you know, wherever you go, as long as you're in university, you'll find a nice group of people who are like you. Well, I, I live with um, guys, and I'm going to be living with guys next year, so it usually starts with me starting hours before them to get ready, and then we'll definitely do pre-drinks in our flat for maybe two hours to get a bus into town, or possibly go to the rugby club, but usually just get very, very, very drunk. Especially on a Thursday, if it's like one pound drinks, just take advantage of that. Most of the time, I'm either spending it at mine, you know, I'll either chill with the flatmates, I'll have a nice meal, maybe I'll play a bit of games, or 
I'll spend some time with my girlfriend. I'll go up and just visit her and hang out at hers for the evening. You know, just hang out, have a nice meal, chat, talk, whatever. Sometimes I do feel a bit alienated. I'm coming from both cultures, from the U.S. and from France, so I'm kind of split between those two places as much as I am part of, I think, part of the U.K., so it's a bit difficult. I still feel a bit foreign, a bit alien sometimes, but not for the most part. I'm, that Those feelings only come out sometimes when I'm feeling homesick, I guess, but for the most part, I feel pretty well integrated into the community. I've always been the kind of person that I kind of adapt really quickly to my surroundings, but there is a really homely vibe about it, I suppose because the university is quite small in comparison to other ones and found I suppose is quite a small town it does feel very easy to walk around like if I'm just running up to campus I don't necessarily have to like have loads of makeup on or like look really amazing I can easily just kind of hop around campus and feel happy and see people that I know all the time so yeah I, yeah I definitely refer to it as home if I'm at home I text my friends like, oh when are we going home meaning here <laughs> No, I'd always say I miss sort of Swindon more because it's where my family is, where I sort of grew up. Yeah, when I went back over Easter, over the Easter holidays, I sort of, I was sort of stood in the town and I just thought it's a, it's a not very nice place, but it's, it did really feel like home. I'd say a bit of both. Miss it, don't miss it. Take it or leave it. We leave you with one last solitary question. Has university changed you, the student, as a person? I think it's changed me massively. It's taught me to open up. It's also taught me um, what's important and that made me realise that I need to really pull my finger out if I'm going to do this. To, to be more independent, to be a professional. Well, I mean, I've become, I don't know if I can call myself a man yet, but when I left home, I've, I was a boy, and I'm sort of, I do grow up quite a bit every week. I can feel that happening. Um, obviously, sort of having to cook for myself, manage money myself, handle everything myself, you know, not having the parents there, it's sort of, made me my own person. I have enjoyed, I remember when I left home and I said sort of no one can tell me what to do anymore. I do enjoy it a lot and yeah it's made me much more of a person, sort of the person that my parents were trying to raise. Yeah I think it's, it's given me clarity as to what skills I need. I still have just the idea of self-discovery and just maturing into a, an actual proper adult for once, actually, you know, taking charge of one's own life and realizing one can make these decisions. I think here, the freedom and the responsibility that you have to go and buy your food and you have to find your way to your lectures, I think suddenly makes you grow up so much faster. Um, yeah, I think I've definitely become more creative down here because there's so much creativity just everywhere you go. There's so many like individual people just like, look at me, I'm so creative. Join me in my world. And you're like, oh yes, let's do that.